Hey guys, welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. I'm Matt. I'm here with Dylan Shizzler. I got the wrong Shizzler, man. You're out. You're out. Other Shizzler. All right. I got Grayson's brother, Dylan Shizzler here. We're bringing y'all. Yeah, I tell Tim I'm the better Nichols too, but we got we got another top five here for you today. You know Grayson. We want to show you Dylan as well. These guys are here at a lot of our open houses. I want to get into your top five Japanese maples. When did you get into Japanese maples? Uh, about about two, two and a half years ago. Uh, mother started uh, doing tours around the garden. Grayson kind of got hooked on the Japanese maples and then uh, I just kind of followed suit and love all the diversity and getting to come out here and see all these cool trees. And So uh, where are you gardening from? Uh, we're out of Westminster, Maryland. Okay. It's a little west of Baltimore, so not in the city, thankfully. Nice, nice. Like zone seven-ish, I think? Seven A, yep. Okay. Yep. Okay, well, very cool. Hey, we appreciate you being here at our open house. You've been to a few of them now, right? How yeah, many is this for you? This will be number three here. Oh, awesome. I, I appreciate you guys. You all are so much fun. And I know a lot of people see Grace in the chat all the time, so I wanted to get you on here. Right. Hey, those other brothers are great, too. Yep, yep. Uh, I'll include Tim sometimes as well. But let's drop right into it. Uh, what's your fifth favorite Japanese maple? Number five favorite. We're going to start off with rainbow. Something with some nice pink in it. Um, I like Isabel quite a bit, but uh, Rainbow gives you a little bit of that variegation in it. Uh, you might see a common theme in my list here. I like a lot of these ostentatious, multicolored, uh, right. variegated maples. So. The ostentatious top five. Yes. All right, I love Rainbow. Uh, Talon Buckholtz introduction. Uh, when I first saw it, I mean, I was blown away. I, the first time I ever saw Rainbow was the first time I went there. It was no an nine, mm -hmm. and you know what the heck is this thing? It was a game changer. Right, blew my mind that pink on red. Uh, you know, I almost got slugged worth. I remember he was cutting sinewood and throwing it on the ground. And a friend of mine goes, why don't you pick this sign up? You can grab this. And I was like, but I didn't ask for it. I won't do that. And so I wouldn't take the sun solicited sign. Wasn't quite brave enough to ask Talon yet at that point. But uh, now we've got some of those original rainbows, so it's worth right. it. But it's classic Japanese gone. maple, yeah. All right, number four, what, what you got? Number four, another pink one. Number four, Hannah Matelli. Oh, man, okay. Another another ostentatious, yep. flashy out the gate. I'm Something liking this. Pink. Well, we got we you know you've got the pink upright, so now we got to go with the pink weaver. So yeah, kind of nice little pairing there together with them. So awesome variegated lace leaf. Now this one's dark pink on uh, bright red. If you get it in some yep. sunlight, get it in shade. It's gonna be pink, white, and green. Yep. Uh, really can change a little bit depending on your light where you're at. Introduction from uh, Yanata Tanaka at Sukasa Maple in Japan. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite nurseries in the world to visit. Yes. They got so much cool stuff. I mean, they're, they're famous for Sukasa Silhouette, but Hanuma Tilly may be their most popular. Right. Uh, awesome plant to be growing. Another one I found today, Hanna Sukasa, which is definitely on my highlights list. Might not be in the top five. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, uh, also honorable mention, Toyama Nishiki. Oh, I like, okay. I like that Toyama Nishiki. Another lay sleep with some yeah, flair. Yeah, Hanuma Tilly, they're, they're a little close, but I like seeing the, the similarities side by side as a nice uh, comparison. All right, let's step it up a notch. Number three, what you got? Ooh, this one, we're going to go with Carnival. A oh, nice okay. White tree. Yeah, yeah, great plant. Acer Campestre Carnival, you know, bring in some, a little bit of diversity for species there to your yep, list, but yeah, some really bit. flashy color. But uh, it's one of those ones that every time I see it, it just grabs my eye. Uh, started out getting a one gallon here. And uh, the local nursery up by us in Westminster, they had a 10 gallon. Nice. All three of us were just kind of like, oh, yeah. that has a place right in the yard. Did you have so. to arm wrestle Grayson for it or just? <laughs> I think I think he let us have that Okay. <laughs> okay. We, get, we get to share each other's garden, so it's like, as long as it comes to one of the houses. I have to know? share all my trees with my brother as well, so I get yeah. it, man. Well, you know, you share the trees and you double your space. Right, so. right, right. Awesome pick. Uh, I love, you know, kind of a light green all white consistently mm -hmm. white in the spring red on pink in the fall which is kind of nice right. it's too when you get in some fall color european field maple could handle more sun than expected too yes, i mean it's surprising yes. when i first got this tree i hit it in the shade and it kind of was slow to get going i got it in more sunlight and it really grew much faster so yes, it does. Yep. all right gets a little bit harder we're stepping up another notch Ooh. number two what do you got number two we're going to go with yamanishki okay something with a, a nice uh, little white white cream into it and I love that ruffle to it. Just the shape of the leaves, a little kind of cupping to it. Um, something that just throws a nice nice texture out into the garden. It's kind of hard to beat. Oh, great yeah. plant, good grower. Um, this was introduced by my friend Fred Hooks, who's passed now. Uh, I first saw it, he said it was found on a mountaintop in Japan. 
Right. And I mean Snow Peak. Snow Peak. Now he liked to embellish a little bit from time to time. So there's no telling the truth <laughs> of the story there. I know I first saw it in an auction in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And man, I tried to break the bank to get it. And this is when I didn't have any bank to throw. I was like, you know, I, I, I tapped out at like 400. Right. And right. so the original one's in someone's garden in New Jersey. <laughs> but thank God he shared some sign wood with everybody else. It's a very worthy tree. And I'm, right. I'm so happy you guys have it. And we've gotten to get it out in the garden. Um, it's one that uh, unfortunately we lost our big specimen one. So going to be replacing that in the garden here shortly but it is a showstopper for sure adds a nice little bit of texture out there oh yeah and, and you can get snow peak can get those little all white caps to it too so right. it just really shows out another one surprisingly likes a little bit more light i put one in dense shade and it wasn't as colorful as one getting a little, a little bit, bit more light yeah yeah, yeah. all right nice. we're all the way up to the uh the number one spot here number one i think i might be stealing grayson's number one but it's hard <laughs> to beat my number one maple first, just like I'm the number one maple <laughs> brother in this family. Our number one maple, right. Nagari Nish. Oh, man. All right, so I was joking earlier. I've done three of these today, and everybody picked Nagari Nishki. Right. I said it's going to be like 1A because it's becoming everybody's top five. Like, so if it's not in the to top five, it's like, did you really do a top five? Right. Well, okay. To pair that one with... Um, Kumoi Nishki. I love okay. the, the two trees side by side. They're a little bit inverse. Oh, that's a cool, that's a cool you match. Know, you've got uh, one with like a lighter dusting and a little kind of dark green on top. And then the other one's, you know, a little more dark green with a lighter dusting. Right. Side by side, just being able to compare the two throughout the seasons. It's, they're just two special trees for sure. Ace for Pictum Naguri Nishki. You get that white, you get it consistently in the spring. Yep. It's a showstopper on the colors. Kind of nice. Yeah, it's it's a cool plant. I love Ace for Pictum, so right. I'm they're, a sucker for them. And uh, that one, maybe may the best picked them. I don't know. It's hard to say, maybe. but They're it's all up special. there. Yeah. Yeah, a great list, man. I definitely, you got the flair, you got the ostentatious, <laughs> like flash. That is pure flash. If you're at Chotsky's, they'd say that's enough flair. Yeah, yeah, you got all the flair needed. Bit, yeah. uh, I love it, man. I appreciate you guys always coming oh, to Open House so, so much. much. And uh, had fun at the dinner last night. We had over 40 yeah, people at the dinner last night. And I just appreciate the fun energy you and your brother always bring, man. Well, I appreciate it, man. Well, I mean, it's been great. You know, the two years we've been here watching you guys grow and acquire buckholds. Oh, thanks. It is absolutely wonderful. Well, I appreciate it. We've been blessed. And, uh, hey, it's because people shop with us. We can't do it without you guys. Right. So I appreciate you all guys being a big part of it. So Definitely. thanks for hopping on here today. Take care. God bless. And have a great day.